Welcome to Mango Plays Serin Fate. Uh, this is a um, new sort of game that was released, I think, on the 10th, so a couple of days ago from when I'm recording right now. It is currently on sale on Steam with a 10% discount for £10.25. And um, the main reason I, I quickly snapped it up was the description is it's a cross between Stardew Valley and Pokemon. Now, I'm not a Pokemon player, I've never played it myself, so I'm excited to see what this um, gives. Uh, but it is a single dev um, and an indie game. All of those things make me go, oh, I really kind of want to support it. I think you guys would be interested. It's not massively expensive. There is a link to the Steam page in the description, as always. And um, yeah, let's see what we got. Long ago. Okay. The world was covered in darkness where only vile monsters roamed the surface. Yeah. <laughs> and then the fate stone fell from the sky. Oh dear. Oh, there it goes. Okay, that did not look good. In an instance of destruction and light, the world changed. As runestones, as runestones rained down, many of the monsters were cleansed of evil. Creatures and peoples were imbued with magic. They became Chimera and Witches. So the Chimera are the Pokemon, basically, of the game. The stone would continue to maintain balance and enrich the world with new witches. Of which we're one. Unless someday darkness intervenes. So I have played about, I think, an hour and 40 minutes of the game. Uh, but much time has passed. I have skipped the cutscenes though. And today, new witches are born in Chimera Kingdom. Ah, oh, so upbeat. I love it. Here we go. We're being born. How will their paths unfold? No idea. What adventures lie ahead? Uh, again, no idea. Ah, oh, this is the map. Uh, so, this was kickstarted. Successful Kickstarter. You probably saw there that there was three sort of names and they're the three biomes. Um, it will be increased to a five, I think, come full release because this is alpha. So it's normal WASDA, shift sprint, and options is coming soon. So there is unfortunately something for uh, me as a YouTuber a little bit disappointed about. I can't change the sound settings, I can't change key bindings. Uh, nothing but solo dev um it's been working on it for two years and most of it's all right so press e to interact in the world the e key is used for many things including gathering talking buttons levers finding secrets so e everything to use the hotbar spots to use hotbar slots press space to use current selected slot use the mouse wheel to scroll yeah that's cool and use spell tome from your hotbar space. By the way, I originally didn't see these arrows down here. It took me forever to find out how to use anything. Now, this is the spells component. We are wizard. No, we're a witch. And this is the save stone, which is all great. Oh, another face to lend my reflection to. Oh my God, it's talking. You're talking. Ah, uh, you're talking. Yes, of course, I'm one of few magic mirrors. The owner of this house, where be she? Um, gone? Some monsters maybe got her. Tragic. Okay, moving on. <laughs> if there's really no one else, this means you're the new master. Welcome home. Let's see here. There is good news and bad news. You know the question. What will it be? Let's have the good news. Everyone just wants the good news. Fine. Good news is, you're now a witch. And darkness is brewing, necromancers are more powerful than ever. Is that good news or is that the 
flip side of the coin and the bad news. You probably run out of mana after one spell. The forest not far from here is filled with monsters and I hope you cover me back up and wander off into it. Uh, okay, sure. Still here? Okay, the bad, news, the bad news is this is Alpha and you cannot progress in the story. Any matter, let us start from the beginning. My name is Kane. Kane the Mirror, okay. What is your name? My name is Mango. What is your save file name? Uh, YouTube. How are you feeling? Like a sapling? Electric. Bright and radiant. Glowing. Or dark and mi mysterious. So this refers to the elements from what I understand. Um, I have no idea which one's best. I'm just going to go bright and radiant. Oh. Oh dear. What? Last question. What's your favourite colour? Red, purple, blue, green, orange. Oh my god, it's purple. Always. Yep, we're doomed. I can feel the tides are changing already. Right, last but not least, save stones are scattered across the world. Do not forget to save your game. Oh, and for all of our sakes, continue to ignore the skull in the other room. Okay, so we now... Oh. We feel a sudden attunement to sun. Spell learned, would cut one. So these are the attunements, I guess. So we've got nature, sun, and the moon. The woodcut one. We will have a look at that in a sec. Oh, let's let's see what cut. Ah, there we go. Purple. Love it. We can look like a mushroom. Awesome. There we go. That'll do for the moment. Can I go back and? Oh wow. We can chat and cover. Sure. To what do I owe this pleasant encounter? Nothing? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> right, so this is the skull he was talking about. Light the candles. So if we... Yes. That enables hard mode. Death is permanent. Monsters are stronger. Unavailable for alpha. Um, I'm definitely not at a point where I can do hard mode in this game. Ooh, we got some stuff from the chests. So let's talk through the UI. It took me a long time to understand it. We have two level up uh, bars. We got Witchery XP and Harvest XP. We have the money down here. This is coppers, this is gold. Hopefully in the future there'll be more distinction between these two colors. I don't know what this is yet. Still don't know. We got the time. We got some sort of meter to do with sprint. I don't know what this is. This is our mana, and this is our health. And then we have the uh, spells down here. So I think it was green, red, blue. And that means that we can now do wood cutting, which we're not going to do in here, hopefully. Um, let's have a look around here. We've got the map of the world. So key item found. We can either press K, which will just take us there. And we can look at that. You can also press M to open up the map. You can't scroll in and out. You can't click on anything. I'm not sure what the map's really used for at this point in time, but it does exist. You can also press the middle mouse button, which allows you to do various things. So you can access your key items, access the map, or various other bits. And I keep pressing escape as one of my habits. Uh, so we were searching. Stay out of my cabins. It's also a game here. It's very reminiscent of um, Stardew Valley, like the bits in uh, the pub uh, or saloon. Middle mouse, okay, cool. So this is our notebook. We got collections. Uh, records. This is cool. Um, we also have spells, which this is. I'm constantly in this page because I can never remember the combinations. And cauldroning, which I don't know, haven't got to it. And then if we head on upstairs, we got the final thing to collect in here the 
lucky item found. Which three decks? Middle mouse, okay. So let's have a look at the witchery decks. Aha! Left click on an item to inspect. Okay. Ooh, heals some HP. This is our equip area. Uh, the chimeras and runes. Don't know what runes are used for. This is a little balcony that doesn't go anywhere. I did check it. Oh! Hello! Welcome to my home. Hello, Mango. Hello, Coco. Ah, yes. This hut brings back memories. It does look a bit overgrown, doesn't it? No? It's fine. It's lovely. I do apologise. The other apprentices this year already claimed the normal housing. Okay. Not to fret. You can have this place. And I'm sure Kane is. Fantastic company as always. Yeah, he was lovely. He helped us change our hairstyle. Now, what interests you most as a new witch? Hmm. Gathering, witchery, gardening, chimera, fishing and mining. So, depending on which one you select, you get a, like, um, token thing around that item. And I'm actually going to say, oh, gathering, I think. I really want gardening, but I never managed to get gardening to work. So, gathering. Excellent. Take this magic trinket. Next up. It is tradition that new witches be bonded with a familiar. Today I have bought three lovelies. Take your time and fill which one you're drawn to. Okay. What? Oh, yeah. So they're boxed up. And, um, I guess it's Lucky Dip. I'm drawn to this one. That's a little strewn. It's a sporza. Okay. That is a beautiful sporza. Sporza is called a chimera, and it's just one of many different species of chimera. You take care of your chimera, they will take care of you. Would you like to hear more about your chimera? Yes, please. Sporza spend most of their time camouflaged as indigenous fungi and relaxing. Chimera or magical runic creatures come in all manners of shapes and sizes. They can be equipped by witches like yourself and used to fight monsters. You can also put Chimera in a pen where, it, where if cared for, may create useful ingredients. I'll let you discover the rest on your adventures. If you find some new species, be sure to bring them by the Witch's Guild. Until next time, young witch. Doodles! Doodles! I love her. Uh, try using middle mouse to open your inventory, then equip your trinket and chimera. You can also press tab to open your inventory, which I love. Uh, so equip. Can we go? Ah, oh, you can use the keyboard. Oh, that's nice. Right, so we're going to equip our chimera. It goes here. And this is find otherwise invisible bits and bobs. Hmm. Okay. So let's equip that. Nice. Okay, let's head on out. Alright, don't scream. Ooh. It looks different. So it's randomly generated. That is really cool. So down here we have a craft bench, bench even. We've got three recipes currently. And then we have a little chest. What do we have in here? We have a mana potion, that would be important. We have a tome. We have a sea pouch and dry soil. I haven't worked out how to use those, but we hit space here and we learn the mining skill. This dude here is cool. We'll, we'll check him out in a sec. So let's use some of our mana, shall we? Uh, let's look in, not there, in our notes and look at spells. So mine is sun, sun, moon. So we click down here, sun, sun, moon. 
and she just left click and look we got like magic ethereal pickaxes that will just work away use two of our mana there's the cost of the spell just there and um, away it goes you right click to dismiss dismiss the spell but it's still loaded you can just come down here and click again to start using it and um let's do i think it was that one for wood cutting yes so um let's just send i think it takes three axes to cut down a tree at this point oh look at all of the materials now we did notice or i did notice it said new recipes are available um the crafting menu menu is a little bit confusing i'll have to say i am lost by it all but hopefully we can work it out together ah those two axes fix that oh hello who are you ruby hey mango i'm the blacksmith from town but i'd like to help but i like to help weird witch coco out with new witches I sent you a letter. Check your letterbox and we'll get started with some introductory witchery. I think you're lucky to get this area instead of a normal apprentice hut. Look at all the smithing and gardening you can do. I left you that workbench and some other bits and bobs. Alrighty then, see you later in town. Oh, and be careful with that statue over there. It looks like at night it might eat items you give it. So very similar to the shipping box in Stardew Valley. Can I move yet? There we go. And this is the mailbox. Um, I'm the blacksmith in Midtown, but I'll be overseeing some of your beginning witchery. Let's start with some gathering. Try to collect four timber. Okay. There we go. So we got a load of experience. And we got some additional experience there from our quest. Oh, look, we're going up. Now... This dude here, he's called, he's cool even. I am the brood, divulging in all the world's food. What do you seek? Wisdom or riches? So depending on which one you select here will depend on whether or not you get XP for your items or gold or coppers really. At the moment, we're so low in level that I would probably recommend that you only sort of um, do the, the XP. That would be my tactic to say the least but we don't have much there that we can give him or that i want to give him should i say and um yeah so oh you just literally go up to a lot of things and you just hit e the bigger items you obviously need to use a spell on you don't have energy per se but you have mana you can see we're down to eight out of 14 mana at the moment this is our save stone for the island uh, for our home let's do a quick oh these these are worth money <laughs> i don't know how they they exist but they're worth money so we got a fair bit of space and uh, this thing here we do what was it red red blue yeah um if we do a couple of those on we should get some pretty interesting items i.e metals i don't know what that is right so let's continue having a look around our sort of home base i guess is the right description for it a farm but what i really love is you can just sort of set something off to mine or half chop down wood and then you can just run off and then come back to it later. Nothing despawns that I've found anyway. And you just, yeah, you just go around collecting, doing stuff. So what I kind of got in the habit to do was set stuff off for just mining, uh, crafting, etc. In the morning, when I've got full mana, use all my mana, and then head um, out to explore so we've reached a level one witchery so we'll have a look at that in a sec right before we uh look at our skill up let's have a look at 
this new male. Let's see how you're doing with spells. Try to cut down a tree by combining the runes nature, sun, moon in your spell bar. The spell bar is to the left of your hotbar slots. Some trees require higher levels to try to cast on a few trees. So yeah, you can see we've got mine one. And um... Oh. I was about to go do it, but it's already been completed. That's pretty cool. Harvest reach level one. Oh. Wow, we're getting loads of stuff done. Okay, so let's have a look at our skill tree. That is actually a tree. You can see there, you can see like it comes up, you've got three starts. Um, Lumberyard, Witchery and Fishing. So you can also spend multiple points in each one. So as you can see over to the, the left over here, Cost two witchery points and you get a 4% chance to redeem mana when casting spells. The one up here costs 12 witchy, witchery points, but we can't even select it because it says we can't reach and can't afford. By can't reach, it means that you have to follow, you have to sort of get your tree to actually grow through these clouds in essence. So, witchery. We have to spend it here, and you have to right-click to apply. You can see we've got one of five. We hover over again. For another two witchery points, we can increase by 4%. So that would be 8% chance to redeem mana when casting spells. And you can see that it also connects there as well. So we've got two harvest level points. So we could either do fishing power or lumberyard. Well, currently we don't have a fishing rod, so let's go for the lumber yard choice. And right click again. So, um, I haven't looked through everything in here. Um, but there's lots and lots and lots. And by the looks of it, there's... He's <laughs> planned for more. <laughs> so I don't think you ever stop earning XP. Um, and if we have a quick look at our file yes we have two levels this took me a very long time to realize that you actually when you level up you actually get an, a, a stat point i was going to say a skill point and then i got confused that you can then spend by using the plus button so we got chimera power decreases chimera cooldowns and sleepiness increases chimera stats and xp gain defense increases our defense intellect and vitality i am literally going to oh we've got five in defense that's nice i'm going to upgrade my chimera the main reason being chimera are what save your butt they're the only thing that can fight um well we can fight but it's it's a pain so yeah we want to ensure oh i really want more chests oh well let's head oh we got more i guess whenever i hear that the 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 owl it means there's another letter next up let's have you do some crafting try mining or gathering enough stone to craft a furnace at the workbench do you know what she's right let's um go around again and aim our spell at the wondrous um honks of rock honks chunks that's what i really wanted to say let's get that sorted and actually i do want to see how we're doing up here oh Ah, it's gone. So that was all of the that copper node. I think we only get one on the farm. I haven't found any more elsewhere. And we can't mine this particular rock with our spell. So there's quite a bit of rock here. Let's put two on as many as we can. There we go. And actually, let's use the mana potion here. Oh, 
Okay, so mana potion here and I've probably overcast on quite a few of these rocks, but it does oh, we got some mana back. Here you go. Right, there we go. Let's head to home. Easy me, it's dark. The artwork, there's quite a lot of pixelation and banding around when there's shadows. It's a pixel art game. It is supposed to be pixel-like, but pixelation's different. It's not um, as crisp. So I tend to try and sleep because the pixelation's annoying. But you don't have to sleep. You can stay up day in, day night. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't understand what that is. We'll look at that maybe in the next episode. It seems like you astral project when you sleep, but you just press E again and then you can go back into your bed. Uh, but yeah, the the only way you can save your progress is through the safe stones, hence why there was a lot of reminders to use them. Mining stone. Task complete, mining stone. It gained a 75 harvest XP. Okay. And, oh, wow. Look at all of that. That was nice. I will leave these um, hunks of stuff for later on. Okay, did we level up? No, but we, we are close. So before we head out, I'm going to... Probably set... Hmm, a load of trees off a harvest. Right, there we go. Harvest of wood is in action. Can I add anything here? Tell you what, something I would be really happy to see is like um, the ability to shift click. Because uh, that doesn't exist. But whilst, um, before we head out, should I say, let's craft or set a craft furnace off for craft. Just press this button. Don't get confused. It just takes time. You just wander away. Um, I ended up accidentally setting off like five furnaces for crafting. A lot of different skills make it up witchery. Let's see how you fare with fishing. Catch a fish. You'll need to find a rod, lure and bait. The type of lure will, you have will determine what water you can fish in. I have yet to find the recipe. Um, for the fishing rod and um, or lures or baits or whatever but we'll do that together hopefully over the next few episodes maybe you guys have some tips for me as always leave them in the comments down below so I'm just going to go exploring we spent our mana we don't need mana whilst we're out exploring at the moment and this will give us Magical ability increased. Spell learned. Capture. So now we can capture Chimera. Um, it's quite nice, this spell. It's probably the only one I won't have difficulty remembering. Because you just literally go, dun 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 dun. How nice is that? And then right click to dismiss. But you can see the spell is up there. It's really nice. I also noticed there's a lot of secrets like this in this game. And you can tell which spell it started with by the fact that the outline's a lot greener. That's what I've seemed to have found anyway. What else are we going to learn? Magical ability increased. Spell learned seed praise. Ooh. All right, I might be able to remember that one as well. <laughs> Right, so our uh, Sporza is level 4. Now, I wonder if there's a way to increase... No, there's no information about him. Oh, there's a trash can there. But before we do that, we have a, um, a fight. It's our first fight. Oh, uh, no. So you kind of can't avoid the damage that the... Because they damage you, not your Chimera. Which is nice, but as soon as you move into a fight scene, 
in essence, you can see that your hotbar changes and you just press the corresponding keys on your uh, numbers to actually select which spells your Chimera uses. You can see that the experience there for Sporza has increased and um, I think so is ours, to be fair. But we also got hit quite a few times. I haven't found a, like I've tried dodging, but it doesn't seem to work. But this big building here seems mightily important. Let's head in. Okay. Um, so what's this? Is, this has got like vines on it. Witching stone found. Map updated. Okay. Cool. Let's have a look. I still don't understand what the map is for. Never mind. Uh, that looks like a vending machine. What can we get? Sarah juice for 12 copper. No, never mind. I don't want that. My copper is precious. And, oh. So this shows how many we got. There's five, so there's 15. 20? Or is it just 15? I don't know. Let's, let's look at that one. Guess it'd be easy when our spores are gets rotated around. So we got 15. 20. I think it's 20. So I think our spores will come in next. Yeah. So 20 Chimera to find in Alpha. Hey. That's pretty cool. Harpy. Hi, I'm Harpy. Welcome to the Witches Guild. Feel free to use the elevator and head witch Coco is just up those stairs. Okay, cool. Thank you for the nice welcome. Um, can I raid your stuff? No. Okay. What are you? Um, no. I, I don't know what this is and I have no idea how we collect it. Master's Gauldron, unavailable for Alpha. Okay, um, hello Coco. <laughs> hello witch. Welcome to the Witch's Guild. Fun fact, I love Sarah Juice. Is that why there's a vending for it in the lobby? Okay, please make yourself comfortable. Think of the guild as a second home. Right away, head upstairs and meet Icarus. Oh, and for your first task, bring me some Sarah Juice. <laughs> I'm just yanking your broomstick. Right, for your first assignment. Your very first one. Mm-hmm. What were we talking about? My assignments. No matter, if you do find a bramble shroom, please bring me one. Off you go. So, one of the things I think would be massively, or a huge improvement, is an additional bit here, which is tasks or quests, to keep track of the fact that she wants... Um, she wants what was it a bramble shroom because there's a risk of yeah losing it between play sessions and whatnot um so that's let's go to the library Ooh. ah oh, the elevator's lovely hello hey. stay out of trouble all right night i will oh hello hello there the Guild Library is much more intriguing than at Chimera Castle. Okay. She had her own music track. Hmm. Ooh. That one's different. Can I access a book there? No, I can't get any tomes out of the thing. You must be... Yeah, Icarus. Ah, yes. Lots of new faces rummaging around. If you read a book, put it back. If you need a spell, I've got the finest prices. And do keep your nose out of trouble. The times are changing. Okay. You don't understand? Listen, kiddo. There has not been a royal witch in thousands of years. With the royal princess becoming a witch, I bet all my copper's troubles... I bet all my copper's trouble looms ahead. I get what he's trying to say. He's trying to say that he will have no copper trouble, as in he will have money in the future. But that didn't make sense to me. Bah! I can see your mind is as empty as your stare. 
Let's have a look at his shop. So, and we got 126 copper and no doodad. Um, woodcut two, woodcut three, mine two, mine three, nurture one, and plant harvest. Oh, we got to save up for that. That might be how we plant. Oh, the magic broomstick. Uh, I do know I um, have seen well, I purchased it in my playtesting. It's great fun. Uh, I don't have enough inventory space right now, but we'll come back to it later in the future. But it just means that you can basically be a little bit faster than sprint mode the whole time you're on the broomstick. And it's so cute and it's so perfect for this game. You feel like a right witch when you've got it. Okay, so... Over this way, um, the docks are for Pira sailors, sailors only. You don't even have a bandana. Bandana. Scram. Okay, so we can't go to the docks until we craft a bandana. Most of these are just homes for people, which I will investigate at some point in the future. There is nothing here. These two are shops. Uh, let's have a quick nose in one of them. Hey. I saw a troll once. I think he, my heart skipped a beat. I don't blame you. So, fishing rod costs a gold. I thought when I originally came in here, it cost one copper. I was like, yes, I'm ready. No, it's that slightly different color of yellow and I can't easily distinguish it. Right, let's um, do a little bit more exploring. Right, okay, so um, we're in the next area. This is a tavern, which um, I'm not gonna go into right now. I want to, yes. Oh! The, the, I wish that once you get attacked by something, your chimera would auto Target. That makes sense. Um, let's eat a apple. There we go. And um, I do believe there is another bee down here. Bee? Buzz buzz. Is it an angry bee as well? No, I don't think so. So over here, this took me forever to find, which is why I wanted to put it in the first episode. We have one of the most important things in the world. You can pet the dog. Yay! I don't know if that means anything in the future, but this is a key item. Key item found, shovel, bit of mouse, okay. So yeah, you can just press this and then on our farm base or um, in the exploration forest, you can use the shovel to um, shovel up dirt. I don't think you can prepare land for, um, what's the right word, for processing at all. And we've got safe stone here, which is quite convenient because, oh, that's a copper thing. Ah, what is it? Is it red, red, blue? No. Um... Green, green, blue? No. Okay. Let's stop guessing. Let's not go to the wrong thing as well. Spells. My... Oh, it's red, red. I thought I did red, red, blue. Maybe I didn't give it enough time. So, uh, let's click on this. Three times. Three times a lady. And... Harvest away, I guess, around here. Ooh. So I will show you a couple of bits and pieces. First things first, I'm going to show you the save screen because it's actually pretty cool. So the point you save, you get your stats come up. It's lovely. So between your last save and your new one, you can see how much you've earned. Don't know what pearls are yet. And obviously the fact that we caught Chimera. We didn't really catch it, it was given to us. But, you know, we'll take it. 
and let's have a look at these crossroads. So this says a tram access. And I do believe this is not a... Oh, that's aggressive. Howdy, welcome to the Midtown Tram Station. If you have a tram card, I'll take you far up north. Don't forget to dress warm though. I don't have a tram card. Howdy. This place is not for alpha witches. Okay. I'm a bit confused. I'm getting mixed messages here. Hmm. So that will obviously fa facilitate traveling around the world. Which is going to be pretty cool. And what do you say? Tramang. Oh yeah, I've already looked at that. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, I was not paying attention. Hello. And you say the forest can be dangerous. Do not go alone. We're not going alone. We've got our chimera. Now guys, if you can tell me how I get up here. I pressed E, I pressed space, and accidentally ate food. Uh, luckily that didn't poison me. But there's, there's, there's pots to break. There's a heart plant. There's all sorts. I don't understand why I can't get up there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Let's do some battle. Oh. Um, I have to say, this Chimera is weaker than the the other one I had. Oh, that's going to be hard because it was difficult enough the first time. Might be though that because I'd leveled up the Chimera. I think my Chimera was like level 8. There we go. Oh, and one more. The light lounge is pretty cool. And you. There we go. Ah, oh, nearly got rid of them all. bad quite fun eh so um let's actually head back home because i have looked at the time oh my you're there i haven't looked at the time in the recording so let's um get ourselves home come on come here do it that's it yeah we got a load of goodies so oh Let's head on home. And back home we are. Yay! And we have a furnace. So, um, let's just pop that down. Switch that out. So, yeah, you just literally hold it and you press space. And then you can dunk it down. Fuel in. And do we have... Yeah, we've got loads of copper ore. They can put multiple pieces in. As far as I can work out, don't put your crumbles in because, yeah, they don't actually turn into copper bars. New materials found. Let's head around here and just grab all of my um, chopping. I have noticed that um, clearing the trees and whatnot is really good just purely for getting the visibility behind them. And we didn't get another level. Oh, that's a shame. Do we? No, we didn't level up. But that's all good. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you're new. Leave me a comment down below. And let me know what you think of this game and whether or not you're looking forward to the series. And um, as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.